hey guys welcome to the channel thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like subscribe share comment down below if you want to help the channel thank you today is sunday january the 21st 2024 and we're gonna talk about some random topics in the chelsea world in the world of football in general so kind of relax get your coffee and popcorn and we're gonna we're gonna go and today we had a, another live stream live stream for the african cup of nations it was between morocco and the drc and also another game in the premier league so thank you so much for everybody that was there if you haven't joined us yet in one of our channels the link is going to be in the description down below because you are missing out on many many amazing stuff call in show a lot of fun all right african cup of nations is getting more and more interesting my friends all right so by the time of recording liverpool are playing against the uh, bournemouth away okay still zero zero but it's only like 37 minutes in my location sheffield united two west ham two it was two red card <laughs> the game was really really funny and also there is a game that just started between zambia and tanzania so we're gonna talk about all those games at some point in the future but let's just go and uh, see what is happening on social anyways my people thomas took out today lost another game at home yeah so they are like seven point off the the first place zabi alonso is an amazing manager i'm telling you right now he he hasn't lost any game the entire season it might happen in the future but right now he is unstoppable this is the manager to watch Forget about Jose Moreno. Forget about Thomas Tuchel. Because I think Alonso is going to be in demand next summer. If Thomas Tuchel continues to perform this way, I don't see him next season at Bayern Munich. Remember that last season, he was handled the trophy the last minute. Because stupid, stupid Dortmund refused to win. <laughs> Oh, man, the league was given to them like so many times during the season. They are like, no, you want the title? No, give it to, to Bayern. You want the title? No, give it to Tuko. So last season, title was just handled. Not, they, they, they didn't do anything to deserve the title. But that is Germany, right? Everybody works together in order to allow Bayern Munich to win something. It just everybody bend over to to. to to give a free pass open bar for Bayern but this season Alonso is like no I am going to show you that you know I can do it so I don't know are we gonna blame this on Spurs Harry Kane remember when everybody said he's going to Germany he's gonna win at least two trophies immediately and then the first game he lost the Super Cup so Harry Kane was going to win a cup actually after a few hours of joining Bayern Munich but they lost so is this guy bringing bad luck here the Spurs thing at Bayern but they were losing before even Harry Kane got there though no? last season they got a lucky title so it is what it is and this uh, this um this season they are already out of the cup so they're not gonna win the cup they're not gonna win the league they have just to go and win the champions league if they don't win the champions league it's gonna be an empty handed season and i don't know when was the last time that uh bayern went without winning a trophy it's going to be peak all right let's continue going arisa balaga by the time of recording I think it's 2-2 so far 
Armenia against uh, Real Madrid. They were leading 2-0. One, one goal was uh, cancelled by the VAR because it was going to be like 3-3-0. Three, 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 and then Real Madrid are going to do what they do best, which is coming back and beating people. So Kepa Arisabalaga has been really uh, targeted by Real Madrid fans because if you look at the, uh, the kind of goals that he's conceding, it's just ridiculous. That guy doesn't even deserve to be in the, in the Sunday League team. He is horrible. Just because you won a few trophies with Chelsea here and there, lucky trophies, because in football, when it's your day, it's your day. You can still win a cup with some average players, right? So Kepa Arisa Balaga is going to be sent back to Chelsea. I don't see him staying there. I don't know, man. Get him out of here. Throw him out. Yeah, you can get him out. Yeah, get him out. Get him the hell out of here. Get him out of here. Get him so, yeah. Real Madrid are getting uh, uh, getting him out. Kepa Abragadabra coming to Chelsea. I don't want to even see him at Chelsea Football Club. I'm sorry. He doesn't have any... Even Robert Sanchez won't get his number one spot. It's Petrovic, Robert Sanchez, and Bettinelli. And let's talk about Chelsea women. Right? Lauren James is an alien. She is illegal. We have to deport her immediately send her back to the moon or i don't know mars whatever planet she's from she's amazing a hat trick against uh, liverpool another hat trick today against manchester united absolutely unstoppable congratulations to her because i, I also like the the new look the, the hair kind of craziness i like that look so she is lebron gems of women soccer she's unreal i'm telling you right now and she's fit which is surprising because his brother is struggling with a lot of injuries and the sister always fit and ready oh my goodness look at hannah look how that means to chelsea my goodness look at uh, super frankie Frank Kirby, making a dream for a little girl. Giving the shoes. And don't be surprised that that girl is going to be a bowler one day bowling for Chelsea Football Club. So, look, man of the match, ball of the match, everything to the sister. Look at <laughs> Guru. Another day, another meme. She is the queen of memes. <laughs> Good or written. She's always that way. Look, come on. You know, give me some energy, man. I hope that we can have this kind of energy in the main team. You know what I mean? Let's move. Uh, yeah, we already discussed. And Jose Moreno been, you know... Everybody nostalgic, Jose Moreno back at Chelsea, blah, blah, blah. Let me just play this, right? Because people forget very quickly. Let me just play this one. Are you ready? Um, Spurs fans know you as Mr. Chelsea. What are you going to do? What do you need to do to get them on side and win them over? No, I think they have to see me as Mr. Inter, uh, Mr. Real Madrid, Mr. Porto, Mr. Club. I arrive. I wear the pyjama and I even sleep with the pyjama. So that's the way I am. I am a club man. But many clubs man. You know, I have only one shirt. I have only one, one passion. I have only one thing in my mind, which is my, my clubs. And now is, uh, is, um, is Spurs. I um, Spurs. Yeah, so, so for people who told us that he's a Chelsea through and through and he loves Chelsea, Moreno is there for himself. Moreno is not for anybody. He's Mr. Club. Any club that will give him opportunity, he's going to come back and smash Chelsea. That's the way it is. Forget about sentiment and, you know, the time is gone. So today he's been linked with uh, 
Napoli and other teams. Today he was even in Spain, Barcelona, and people were speculating about him going to take uh, <laughs> Xavi's, uh, Xavi's job, which is not going to happen. Let's continue. Cristiano Ronaldo been talking. Do you think that he's making sense here? He got a point. So, he been saying that Ballon d'Or and uh, the best FIFA award are uh, losing the credibility because he's not part of that. Basically, he didn't say that, but basically that's what he meant. I think that in a way, these awards are losing credibility. We have to analyze the entire season. It's not to say that Messi didn't deserve deserve it, or Haaland, or even Mbappe. I simply no longer believe in this award. It's not because I won I won at Globe uh, uh, Globe Soccer, but they are facts. They are numbers. Numbers don't lie, basically. So in one hand, he's right because remember that people don't pay attention too much to the leagues from outside Europe. And I even remember one one season where the goal of the, the year, like Puskas Award, was given to Cristiano Ronaldo and there were a goalkeeper in South Africa or somewhere in the league back in Africa who came the last minute and had like a, a bicycle kick, won 3.4 his his team the last minute it wasn't counted because it's africa it doesn't produce money it's it's not com uh, it's not sellable you're not gonna sell that so we have to put somebody who can produce us money the sponsors and all that so now that cristiano ronaldo is in the other side he can see the injustice we've been talking like messi or ronaldo some of the ballon d'ors that they won you look at it and you like how how the hell other players were a thousand times better. They won the World Cup, won the Champions League, won everything in that season. But the winner is Messi. So those awards is, uh, yeah, is losing credibility. But also, Cristiano Ronaldo is saying it because he didn't win. So if he was in the conversation, he was not going to criticize that. Anyways, people, um, nothing really to report in the Chelsea community. Joe Cole continues to defend Kano Gallagher. I'm not going to get to the deep of that because people hate me when I try to be a little bit positive about our academy kids. You can read yourself. Joe Cole been there and done it. So he knows better than us, couch expert. Um, nothing really. Okay, Diego Moreira. So Diego Moreira is coming back to Chelsea. He didn't train for the last 24 hours. Leon are trying to get uh, Dan Juma from Everton. So they're going to send him back. Another loan. Another wasted talent here. The reality on loan is completely different than the narrative on social media. He's not getting enough playing time over there. Okay? So it doesn't mean that he's bad. It's just rare that you're going to find Patrick Vieira who's going to give a loan a chance to play when you are a lone player you are there just to do the job they don't care about developing you but people who don't watch football they just copy and paste narrative oh because caesar casadei uh is recalled by chelsea that means he's bad oh because andrew santos didn't have enough playing time at uh, at nottingham forest that means he's bad BS. Mm -hmm.